Are you ready to upgrade and make some of the coolest motion graphics? Well, in a few moments, you'll be able to create these real 3D title loops that you can rotate around any type of object right here in After Effects. And we're closing in on a million subscribers. So subscribe and let's get started. There's something special about creating 3D over 2D graphics. I I'm not sure how to describe it, but for starters, 3D tends to pop more and it has actual meat behind it rather than, you know, paper thin graphics that will blow away in the wind. Anyway, this is crazy easy. The first thing we should do is type out our text and make it a 3D layer. Under the 3D renderer dropdown, use the advanced 3D option. Okay, our first priority is to make our title circular by using the ellipse tool. And you can hold shift and control on your keyboard to draw out a perfect circle from the center of your comp. Make sure the anchor point is centered under layer, transform, center, anchor point. Now, go to the path options under text and set the path to your mask one and reverse the path to on. At this point, feel free to adjust the font size and type out the rest of your title around the circle. I'm using Monument Extended Ultra Bold for the font, sounds like it belongs to the playbook, but when ready, click animate and enable per character 3D. Then go back, add rotation and set the X value to negative 90 degrees. Now go to the regular transform dropdown and set the X rotation to positive 90 degrees. Now we have a 2D circle text. To animate this, you can keyframe the Z rotation, but we'll revisit this animation in a moment. For now, to make this OG real 3D, go to geometry options and increase the extrusion depth and boom, beautiful. And here's a quick tip. You can go back to animate and select any of these options, color RGB to change the color of the different parts. And you can set the renderer to Cinema 40 to remove the native lighting. However, I'm not gonna add any color options and stick to advanced 3D. Let's continue to move forward with the next steps of creating the actual bands. And don't worry, I'll show you how to implement 3D objects and video as well. But first, be sure to get our 100 free template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. As you may know, we also have tens of thousands of templates, including these cinematic titles you've seen in this tutorial, followed by transitions, animation presets, and everything you need to produce the best projects in no time, the link below. To create a 3D circular band, use the ellipse tool to make a perfect circle. Turn off the fill and set the stroke width to 10 or 11. Then make the layer 3D and set the X rotation to 90 degrees. Then set the extrusion depth to about 50. You can also set the bevel style to anything you like. I'm going to use concave. Anyway, to combine the title and the band, go to two views and make sure the second view is set to top. By scaling one of the elements, you can eyeball your way to put the elements together. You'll see that the text will clip into the band. And if your anchor points are centered, this process is super easy. However, you should adjust the Y position of the band to make sure everything's centered as well. All right, let's officially rig this up to blow up. I mean, rig it for better control. Create a null object and parent the elements to the null. Of course, make the null object 3D. Now we can easily rotate everything how we see fit all right, we have the basics out of the way and we have a solid element. However, there's so much we can do to make this scene epic, even world dominations on the table. So for starters, we can easily duplicate all three elements using the null object and we can scale and rotate to create a variation. And of course, change the color of the band and text and keep repeating this until you have enough copies or till your computer sounds like an international airport. The choice is yours. Since these are real 3D objects, inserting other 3D objects or even video is easy. For example, if you have a .obj or other 3D model type, you can import it into your project and using the top view, you can easily have a central object. And if you wanna use uh, you know, video instead, just be sure to remove the background of your footage, either with roto techniques or by using a keying effect. Just make sure your video is a 3D layer. Now, one of the main powers of the advanced 3D workflow is lighting, specifically because you can create a light and you have an option for an environment light. If you've been watching my tutorials, you already know where this is going, but this light allows you to import HDR images, uh, which I'll link to a free one below. Just set the source 
of the light to the HDR and instantly transform the lighting of your scene by bringing the sun to After Effects. The last thing we can do is 360 degree camera movement. Since all of our objects are central, you can create a 3D null object and camera layer, then just parent the camera to the null, and lastly, animate the Y rotation to have your camera spin around the scene. This camera movement will only work with 3D objects, but please be sure to subscribe to be part of the 1 million subscriber club and always be creating.